Now, your implicit beliefs are what underneath your talking with your friends and telling people what you believe on the surface, your implicit beliefs are underneath the surface. They are what you think about in secret. They're what you think about as true about yourself. Like, am I smart enough? Am I good enough? Do I deserve success? Do I really know what to do? Can I really do this? What if I fail? What if I try my hardest and I fail? Well, all of these implicit underlying beliefs cause a couple of things to happen. Number one, if you don't really have the beliefs or the anchor implicit beliefs, you'll start to have doubts about yourself. You'll have doubts of whether it's possible to do. You'll have doubts in your abilities. You'll start to question whether you're doing the right things, whether you're smart enough or good enough. And so what you've got to understand is beliefs and habits go hand in hand because beliefs drive the perceptions and the behaviors called habits. So beliefs are a fundamental component of what you must change in order to match up with the goals that you have. See, if you have a goal, let's say, of making $100,000 a year, but you have a belief that you're not smart enough, you'll never make $100,000 a year. If you have a belief that you don't deserve success, or if you have a belief that the harder you try, the harder it is, then you're going to have opposing goals and opposing beliefs. So let's say for all of you people who like the law of attraction, let's say you have a goal of making $100,000 and you can fill in whatever number you want. If your goal is to make $100,000, but your belief is that you only deserve to make 50,000, you're going to be out of sync or out of vibration. So if your goal is $100,000 and that's an X type vibration and your belief is a $50,000 belief and that's a Y type vibration, you're going to be out of vibration or you're going to have what's known as a chaotic vibration and they'll basically cancel each other out or you'll do a little bit of hard work and then you'll sabotage your success or you'll think you can achieve it for a day or two, but then things will happen where it doesn't work as smoothly as you like and you'll give up hope. And so the key is to set the goals first. You make the conscious decision to set the goal. You create the strategy, tactics, and process. And by the way, mistake number three that people make is that they think that they have to be the ones who develop the strategies, tactics, and process. Well, I can share with you when I was 19 years old, I had no idea what a strategy was, what a tactic was, or a process for that matter. But I had a mentor who told me what to do to achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve. And because of him, I made $30,000 in six months. Then by learning how to develop better habits and learning to believe more in myself, I made $151,000 when I was 20 years old. Now I share that with you to help you understand I've done this process. I still do this process every single day. I focus on what it is that I want. I look at the strategies and the tactics and the processes and I ask myself a question. Will these help me get to where I want to go? And then I ask myself, are my habits, the things that I think about and the things that I do every day, moving me towards in a constructive way or moving me backwards in a destructive way compared to the goal that I want to achieve. So when you learn how to do this for yourself, you can take every day as an opportunity to get better and better and better and better. If you think of yourself as a musician or an athlete or somebody who is, you know, really serious about an outcome, every day you focus on that craft. Every day you focus on getting better. Every day you focus on how you can, not why you can't or why you won't. And so when we talk about habits, that you know is your behavior of thought or, be, or your, your thought patterns on a consistent basis or your behavior of what you do. Beliefs are something a little bit more unique. Now, 
When I first started to study what are beliefs, where are beliefs, that's when my life absolutely changed because what I realized is a belief is nothing more than a pattern. If you think about a software programmer, a software programmer sits at his or her computer and they decide what's the coding that they need to create on the software so that the output in the computer would be consistent with what they want. So whether it's a financial software, whether it's a, one of the you know, iPhone apps, whether it's a, um, a to-do list app that can take all the information and have the calculations in the background run consistently so that the result is predictable. Well, when we think about beliefs, what you believe about yourself is nothing more than a culmination of what your parents taught you, your teachers taught you, what you've experienced, and what you saw all around you. That means that a pattern in your brain was created, and once that pattern was created and reinforced over time, you started to have habits around those beliefs, and those habits created the strategies and tactics which causes your results. What I want you to do is reverse engineer all of this and change the process. That process is flawed. God gave you and I the amazing ability to set any goal we want. We, unlike you know, animals, we get to choose the goals that we want to trade our life for. And so instead of looking at your circumstances, your background, your education, your current beliefs and your current habits and all the, the evidence you have right now about what you should set as a goal, wipe that slate clean. That's part of your past. That you can use as a hitch, as a way to catapult yourself to the next level. So what you do is you choose the goal that you want to achieve. You either create or get help to develop the strategies, the tactics, and to know what processes are, are, to, are for you to put in place. And here's what I can share with you. Just about every goal that you want to achieve, somebody's already done it. Somebody's already achieved the amount of income you want to achieve. Somebody's already you know, uh, lost the weight that they want to lose. Somebody's already had a challenging relationship that's gotten better. Somebody's had zero spiritual connectedness that now feels connected to our Creator. Somebody's not given any of their time or money to charities that now is doing it. Somebody has not you know, achieved the goals in the past that are now achieving it because the strategy and tactics are easy to find. The habits and their beliefs is really the key for being able to see the universe differently and behave differently in the universe. And so the key with the beliefs is you can choose your habits. You can choose your beliefs. If you think about this, if a belief is nothing more okay, than a pattern in your brain, why not create the beliefs you need to have in order to achieve those goals? Now, you may say, how should I do that? Well, let me share with you my story again with my mentor, Alan Brown. He had me set my goals in each area of my life, as I shared with you. He had me develop the strategies, tactics, and the process with his help. He then told me what I need to do every day in order to implement the strategies and tactics. And then what he did with me here changed my life. And what he did with me around the beliefs is every day I sat down on a chair. I don't have one here, so I can't do it. But I sat down on a chair and I would look at my goals. I would look at them and I would actually touch them. I had them laminated. I would touch them and I would imagine in my mind that I was achieving those goals. I was actually looking and feeling as if that was already real. And I started to read all the goals every day and then I read them with emotion and then I closed my eyes and I visualized them with emotion and at the beginning what I can share with you is there was a tennis match in my own head you know saying that's not true you're not achieving those goals you're not smart enough you didn't go to school you're not good enough you don't deserve to achieve these goals what do you think you are like this is a waste of time I had all of this negative talk for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I started to 
behave differently. I started to attract more good things into my life, the tools, the resources, the people, the business, the money. I started to exercise more. I started to take better care of myself. And one good habit developed into many other good habits. One of the things that we know from the latest neuroscience research is that when you take on a little goal every day and you achieve it and you win, like just writing your goals down and reviewing it every day, you set up a win response system in your brain. And when you win a little bit, then you tend to want to do a little bit more. And so what Alan Brown did for me that was magical, that'll help you, is he created a habit of consistency. A habit of consistency. So I did a little bit for the first month, and a little bit more the next month, and a little bit more the next month, and I started to have a compounding effect on my results. So a little bit every day of the right thinking and a little bit every day of the right behavior starts to create a new belief. And if you create that new belief that you are smart enough, you are good enough, you deserve to achieve success, you have all the intelligence to achieve success, and you read that every day, and you emotionalize it every day, and you ingrain it in to the implicit part of your brain, that's when you start to believe it from the inside out. And when you start to believe it from the inside out, guess what happens? You start to see different things in your physical world. You start to feel differently, and more importantly, you start to take actions in ways you've never taken actions before. Now, if you want to earn two or three or four or five times more income, I know it's possible for you because you wouldn't have that goal and that, that desire, desire of the Father within you if you also didn't have the ability to achieve it. But what I can promise you is you cannot expect, realistically, to set a big goal and not change some of what's holding you back. And what I can share with you what's holding you back is some of your strategies and tactics just aren't the right ones. Some of your habits suck. They're terrible. Some of you don't believe in yourself, let alone believe that it's possible. And if you want to achieve these goals, see, if you are committed to achieving these goals, then you have to take the next part of this and you've got to discover what your big why is. Why is it important for you to achieve those goals? See, for me, I had several important big whys. Number one, I didn't want to live my life the way I saw my parents live their lives. They were unhappy, miserable, broke most of their lives. They had enough money just to, to pay the rent and pay for food and, and, and pay for the um, expenses for a car and nothing more. And I wanted more. I don't know why, but I wanted to be more, have more, do more, see more, explore more. I wanted more for my children. I didn't want to, I started working when I was eight years old. I worked delivering newspapers. I worked at the local department store. I worked uh, pressing clothes at the dry cleaners. I worked in a pharmacy. I worked at delivering um, groceries on my bicycle with a basket in the front. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 years old. Why? to make money so that I could have a little bit of candy money and things to be able to enjoy my life a little bit better. Now, I say this to you because for me, I had a big enough why back then. Today, my why is, is totally different than it was back then. I've got more than enough for myself. Now it's a matter of making a bigger difference in the world and utilizing my life the way God intended me to live my life and more importantly, to use my talents to help others so that my life has more purpose and meaning. So my big why now is to take my gifts and my talents and share them with the world. What's your big why? See, because when I think about what I do, I get to do this. I, I love my life and I want you to love your life in every area, health, wealth, relationships, career, business, spirituality, contribution, charity, legacy. That's what your life is meant to be like. 
It's not meant to be sitting on the sidelines watching life pass you by. It's not meant to be, you know, feeling insecure or not good enough or not smart enough. It's not meant to be feeling like you're not achieving your life's goals and dreams. It's meant for you to live your life until you're thoroughly used up. I want to die being thoroughly used up in a good way so that I know that I serve my purpose for my life with the unique abilities and talents that I have. Now, you've got unique abilities and you've got unique talents and it's your job to express those unique abilities the way you're intended to. And so for you, set those big grandiose goals. Create the strategies, tactics and the process and get help doing it. Develop the habits, okay, by understanding what are the triggers that cause you to do certain things, what's your daily routine, and what's the reward for maintaining that routine. All I want you to do is understand the trigger, change the routine, and then still get the reward. Then you develop the, the beliefs that you need to develop. And how do you develop those? Write them down. Hop onto my Facebook page. I put a new belief and affirmation there every day. Sit down every day, read your goals. Make sure your strategies and tactics are in place. Make sure that your habits, what you do, line up with the goals that you want to achieve. And then what you do is you take the beliefs and you insert them through affirmations, visualization, meditation, precision hypnosis. There are eight or nine proven methodologies that you can use to get the beliefs in there at the implicit level so that you can start to think and behave the way you want to. And then, one of the things that's critical if you want the law of attraction to work is you've got to have coherence. Now, what is coherence? Coherence is where every part of your being, your beliefs, your habits, your why, your strategies, tactics, and your goals are all aligned. You have your conscious goals and desires matched up and meshed with your unconscious, implicit desires. When you have coherence between what you want and what you feel and how you vibrate, that is the way to evoke or invoke the law of attraction or law of resonance. I promise you that I'd share with you how do you attract the tools, the resources, and the people that you need. It's through coherence. When you set a big goal, when you have a big why and you're enthusiastic, and you have the right plans, and you have the habits and the beliefs, guess what? You're unstoppable. That's when you start to attract everything. See, you don't attract what you need. You attract what you are. And when you become what it is that you want to achieve, you do the exact same thing that a Hollywood actor or actress does when he or she gets a script and doesn't believe anything about the script initially, and then through practice, drilling, and rehearsing every day with emotion, okay, they become that script. And their why might be because they're getting paid $10 million to do it. But I would imagine that their bigger purpose or their bigger why is because they might win an Academy Award. It's their life purpose and meaning to be able to bring out stories and people and characters to life in a way that evoke an emotional response in other people. They get into total coherence with the role. If you want to achieve any goal in your life, you have to develop the ability to get into 100% coherence and be and own that role. Now, I've promised you a couple things. Why the biggest goals that you have are too small? Well, the reason I say the biggest goals that you have are too small is because you're not using all of your God-given abilities. When you understand how to use your brain to the best of its abilities, when you understand how to develop the strategies and the tactics and you develop the habits and the beliefs, that's when you can set any goal you choose and tap into this universal intelligence that is giving you life right now and is giving you everything that you have in your life right now. Highly successful people tune in to the frequencies of all the information, the people, the resources that they need in order to achieve their goals. 
No matter what your goal is right now, it's way too small. And with that vein, I would love to be able to share with you what I've learned in the last 30 years about setting goals and achieving goals at a deeper level. And if that's something that you want, then I'm gonna invite you to join me in San Diego. And many of you know that I'm doing an event, all right, called Money Squared, the Neuroscience of Financial Success on June 14th, 15th, and 16th. And one of the things that we're gonna be doing at this event is really helping people understand a couple things. Number one is how to identify the things that are holding them back from achieving success. And what we do know is that at an unconscious level, people have fears and doubts and anxieties and they have this underlying current that's creating them to be in an incoherent pattern. And so I've partnered with several of the top neuroscientists in the world, as well as a couple other successful entrepreneurs that are really gonna help you do three things if you choose to join us. And the information, by the way, is you know, on this page that, that you're watching right now. And I'm just gonna go very, very briefly into, into what this is. You can find out more information on this page. First and foremost, I hope you've gotten you know, plenty of value for just being here. And if you wanna say goodbye right now, I totally understand and have an amazing day or night wherever you are. If you wanna find out more about the event, stick around and I'll give you, you know, five, six minutes, seven minutes about the event. What we're gonna be doing is helping people, number one, identify what are the main reasons, doubts, fears that are holding them back. What's really holding you back from busting loose and playing a bigger game, a bigger version of your life. So in the first day or on the first day, we're gonna help people identify all of the reasons and all of the circumstances and all of the underlying causes, okay, we call it actually the crap, the conflicts that are happening between what you wanna achieve and all of your excuses, your experiences, and your stories. The R in crap stands for the resistance. Where are you creating neurological and biological resistance points in yourself that's preventing you from taking action? The A stands for the things that cause you to have anxiety. So fears of success, there are over 50 fears of failure that people have, but fears of success, there's 12 fears of success that people have at an unconscious level. One's like, what if I achieve success and I can't maintain it? See, if you have a goal of achieving success but you have an underlying fear of achieving it and not maintaining it, you'll sabotage your own behavior. If you're afraid of failing to begin with because of what people will think of you, what you will think of you, what people will say, how you will feel, if you have an underlying fear of failure, guess what you'll do? You'll take one or two steps forward only to sabotage your success and take three or four steps backwards. So on day one, we're gonna help people identify what their underlying fears are, what their underlying conflicts are, what their underlying resistance are, and what we're gonna help them do is reframe it in a neurological fashion using the latest brain research on how to reframe events, meanings, or ideas that we have that are preventing us from going forward. We're gonna help people reframe and then we're gonna help you release it. I'm gonna share with you and take you through exercises. This is a very experiential event of taking you through exact exercise to teach you the skill of how do you do it for yourself. And so for every 90 minutes at our event, there'll be 30 to 45 minutes of experiential skill building exercise so you could take better control of the reasons and the causes that are holding you back. And my idea of an event is not to do a sage on the say on sage on the stage where you know one or two or three people are talking for two or three days. My idea of an event is to teach you new skills so that when you leave the event, you have those skills on demand. So if you have doubts or you feel the fear of something, you know what to do, how to do it, and how to resolve it instantaneously. 
So we're going to teach you in about a day to a day and a half how to identify what's holding you back, how to reframe it neurologically so that it releases its emotional grip on you, and how you can once and for all retrain your brain to the next level of your success. Now what does that mean for you? Well it means that you become empowered. It means that instead of feeling like you're the victim of circumstance, or you're the victim of your past, you actually get back in control of your life and you're able to deal with whatever life throws at you or whatever life has thrown at you so far. What would that feel like to be that empowered again? Because you once were, that's when you were a child and you were a risk taker and you would do whatever you wanted, regardless of the risk. Well, guess what? You need to get back to that risk taking mentality, that risk taking life enhancing feeling and the way to do that, A, is to let go of some of your past, learn how to manage all of the emotions and the stuff that's holding you back. Then we're also going to teach you how do you set the strategies so that you can actually achieve them. And so how do you develop strategies if you don't know how to develop strategies or tactics or processes? Well, as I mentioned earlier, most strategies and tactics and processes, we already know. And so we'll teach you how to do that and most importantly, on the third day, I have a gentleman coming to our event who is a master at helping people take a vision, like a Hollywood script, and owning that vision. I've got a gentleman who's going to be teaching us a class and teaching you the skills of owning your new life, your new self, your new goals, your new dreams and you will leave with those skills and more importantly you'll leave with the new beliefs around how to achieve those goals and we'll teach you the rituals of what you should be doing every day and then most importantly as you learn that we're going to create an environment around you over the next six months after the event which is June 14th and 15th where we're going to support you to make sure that you achieve the financial goals you have, but more importantly, the financial goals are just a way for you to have more options in your life. And so if you're serious about really increasing your income, I'd like to apply to be your teacher and your coach at our live event and really share with you what I've learned and what I've taught people around the world in really making a difference in their lives. If you're ready for a breakthrough, if you're ready to take what I call as evidence-based personal development, evidence-based personal growth based on the latest neuroscientific findings, I'll be teaching. Srinivasan Pillay, assistant clinical professor at Harvard will be teaching. Mark Waldman will be teaching. He's got 12 books out there, one of the top researchers in the world on brain science and, and God and spirituality and retraining your brain. Uh, Dr. George Pratt from Scripps Memorial Hospital here in San Diego, one of the top psychologists in the world, will be there as well teaching and sharing. Uh, Lisa Sasevich, one of my friends who's a brilliant strategist and tactician and a process gal. Sorry, I thought I had the old uh, form up there. And so I've got five people, including me, that are going to teach you how to break whatever beliefs and habits are holding you back and break whatever has been holding you back from the past so that you can become a goal achiever, not just a goal setter. And what I can share with you is that we're going to have about 250 people there. There's, I believe, 38 seats left. The rest are sold out. And if you're ready to make that decision right now, just click on the button, find out more information, and be one of those 38 people that joins us. We've got an amazing group of people from around the world who are ready to break free once and for all and really be all that they can be. If you're ready to set your goals, develop the strategies and tactics, and learn how to do them the right way, develop the beliefs and habits while you shed your old self and shed all of the causes of what's holding you back right now, then this is a lifetime event for you. I haven't done a live event in about four years. This is my first live event, and so we're going to be giving you absolutely everything you need to take your life from where it is to where you want to be right now. Make a decision. Join me June 14th, 15th, and 16th here in San Diego. We've got some special hotel rates for you, as well as an amazing agenda of life-changing experiences that'll shatter any reasons, any stories, any excuses you've had 
or have of why you're stuck and why you're achieving your results. I hope you can make it. Be there on June 14th and 15th. Click on that button there and find out more information. And my wish and my hope for you is really that you take your life and you make it the masterpiece that only you know what that means. And so you have a vision for your life. You have goals, you have dreams. What I want to do is be a part of helping you achieve those dreams so you close the gap between where you are and where you want to be and you do it in a way that is effective, do it in a way that's proven by science, and more importantly, you do it in a way that will give you the pride and the feeling that your life has purpose and meaning. I told you I'd keep this to about an hour, and my clock over here says 59 minutes, 27 seconds. I'm going to let you go 30 seconds early. And so I hope you've enjoyed this. Tell your friends if you have. Let me know all the questions you've got. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer them. Just hop on my Facebook page and post some questions over there, and I'll be on there later on tonight answering some questions. And hopefully this event is for you. Hopefully you learned lots during this last hour uh, if the event is not for you. And I wish you the very, very best. God bless you. Thanks very much.